because people do die. It's just not you. Everybody else does. That won't happen to you. It happens to other people, but not to you, not to me. So am I going to die? Am I free from that? So freedom is a very, very, it's a huge thing to come to this place, to this recognition, to this space of awareness that you free yourself. That doesn't mean you're going to find a system to manipulate life to get what you want because you're working on yourself to be free. So I'm going to work on myself to be free so I can get what I want. No. You're going to work yourself to be free so when things don't go your way and you don't get what you want, you're still happy. You're still at peace with yourself. That's freedom. That you have come to a place that you're not always frightened of death from dying. That's a huge thing because we all operate from that place of the root chakra survival. It's, 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 a, it's in our DNA. It's deeply rooted in our system. So can you free yourself from that? So as you do work on yourself and you bring this to your consciousness and awareness and you're taking steps into self-freedom, existence also simultaneously begins to reward you. It, it talks to you, communicates with you, and you start to see the magic, the magic of life. The miracles. Existence starts to throw goodies at you. Because you are a part of existence. And it's, it's a constant communication of the self with the self. Of the one being, one entity. That you are a part of that one entity. We're all a part of it, different aspects of it, different parts of it, and different functions of it. But you're not separated. And a lot of times you can see during your day, in daily life, your state of freedom or this realization of becoming free gets challenged. You're challenged by different things that happen during the day. Mostly it has to do with things not going your way. Something's not going your way. And you get challenged by it because you get upset or you get disappointed or you get angry or you get frustrated. But mainly I'm talking about when you get really invested into the idea of something must go this way and you're very invested in it. And you keep investing in it on an idea you have, 
that you want something to happen in a certain way for you, whatever that is. Let's say you got, you've been dating somebody and you're very invested in this relationship and you're hoping that this person is going to marry you. So you have a heavy investment in it. And then at, I know six months, a year, two years, three years go by and you're proposing to the person and the person says, no, you know, I don't want to marry you. And then boom, most of us crash emotionally, really crash hard because you're so invested into the results. You want the results to go your way and you're not free. And so you crash, you go into depression, you become alcoholic, you want to kill yourself. You think life is over. You become very sour, very bitter. So freedom has, it's a, a, a topic that has got a wide range of different um, aspects of itself. And to everybody, as I mentioned, it means different. But what to me, ultimately, what I came to was inner freedom. Am I free from my mind, from my emotions, and from my body? Am I free from it? Any questions, Ms. Hilda? No, I don't have any questions. Thank you. It was very good. You're welcome. Anybody, anyone has any comments, questions? Feel like discussing this? I'm here. Don't be shy. Yeah, freedom is all to follow your heart, listening to your inner calling and responding to it, being able to respond. A lot of people don't know that. We don't teach it to our children. It's not in our education about our inner calling, following our hearts. So a lot of us end up living a miserable life or living according to what daddy or mommy wanted us to be. And we go through years and years before we come to this understanding. And consequently, we have a lot of resentments. We're angry, we're upset. We're angry with life. We are angry with ourselves. 